just got a new Glock, <laughs> that's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac, know what's up, we know I'm the mill ticket. What up, though? You already know how it go. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. If you like that intro, that song, that's Blizzy Black. He on my uh, Instagram. Make sure you go hit me up on Instagram and TikTok and whatever else pays, promotes, whatever it is. I got it. Pay Two Pot TV or Pay Two Pot TV three one three. But let's get into this McGraw ass season that I am so excited about. This is season three. Um, Holiday Murder Pain. Asked him, was it okay that I do the recap and use some of their footage? So I'm about to put it out there. Uh, he said it wouldn't get flagged, so hopefully it don't. Because it's a real dope show. Shaquille O'Neal, watch it. Uh, DJ Envy, along with a plethora of other people, man. This is big for the city. I love it. I heard Trouble Man Pringle going to be um, in a new season. I heard Payroll uh, Giovanni might be back, you know, for some uh, some scenes. Uh, just all the Detroit legends. This is legendary for us, man. So shout out to the camp, man, that fast life, man. Um, let's start off here. These two characters, right? Shanika, hope I'm pronouncing her name right, Shanika, and then you got Leo. What's funny about Leo is this role he played so well because he really lived like that. Not the telling on people part, but he was really out here. I said was, okay, was a long time ago, past statute of limitations, seven years, at least seven plus years ago, okay? I'm not talking about not, but he played the role so well because he really liked that, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, Leo messing around with Shanika, right? Shanika be having her hands in all types of stuff. She a, she a trick. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, that's what, that, that's what she is. She messed with a, a police officer named Brett. That's the white guy. He the dirty cop that everybody been paying. And he been getting things done, keeping murder pain out of trouble. You did on tomorrow. But I'm going to tell y'all later on how that's going to all tie in together. But anyway, um, Leo, he was real, 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 real cool with murder pain. He was a good ally. So his spot ended up getting hit. He ended up getting robbed by a dirty cop on the boat raid. So he feels some type of way. And he do something stupid. He go catch the cops at the liquor store, let off them shots. But he missed Brett and he hit his partner. He did. Now this make Alex, that's the black officer. This make him go ballistic. He, his whole life revolving around this. He taking time away from his family. He's stressing about it, talking about it at home all the time. Pillow talking with his wife. He just completely doing too much. And that's another one play the role. So, Will, you get kind of mad at him. like. But, all right, we're going we gonna to get to the rest of that. But I'm going to show you why Murder Payne and Leo fell out. Murder Payne was hogging the plug, which is Mo. Mo, we're going to talk about him too. Shanika hooked Mo up with him. They related. So, she tapped him in. They were supposed to both be getting work from him. Leo and Murder Payne. But Payne ended up getting the plug hogging it. And ain't tell him this kind of like some Alpo Rich stuff, you know what I'm saying? And he feels some type of way about it. And he's so deep off in the game and so much on him. He willing to pin this body on anybody. That cop that got killed, they think Murder Payne did it, but he did it. And he pillow talking to this chick and she just put the play together and seeing how they can work together, man. And uh, he even went as far as to blame it on Jock. That's Murder Pain, other right hand man. But we're gonna get into we're gonna get into all that. We're gonna tell you about Jock and how he be simping and all that stuff, man. But go ahead, we're about to check this out. Now you playing stupid? Nah. I'm serious. Mo thanked me for putting that situation with you him and murder together. What do you mean put together? He said he didn't want to furnish the work. I don't know, but he tipped me. So that means he got something going on with one of y'all. Oh ass nigga murdered and cut me out. I killed cops for this nigga. Cause they robbed him. And you gonna play with me? Oh yeah, her. I just went out of this whole shit, man. I know you do. It's just not that easy. It better be. Cause you the one robbed us. You the reason this whole shit went down the way it did. Now I know you don't want them to find that out. Do you? Shitting me. They looking for murder. They only fucking with me cause they want me to give him up. But for the right guarantees, I will. Actually, I'm gonna need you to do the opposite. So look, I know y'all remember Bolo. Bolo, out his mind, this guy be reading books while they drowning the man torturing him. Like Bolo on some whole other stuff. Bolo, real big drug lord himself, and real big killer. Always into something. Always dropping something. He got a he got a pretty dog click around him too. They do what he say, cause bro, out his mind. 
Now, Bolo got a problem with murder because he think murder killed his niece in a drug robbery in, um, that was season one. Ever since then, it ain't been nothing but he don't care about shooting up no funerals, no wakes, no birthday parties, no none of that. He want murder pain up out of here, out his mind. Check this out right here, man, when they caught homeboy. And he gave up a little bit of information before they go ahead and take him out the game. There's no constant form. Just as water has no constant shape. Lift that nigga. Now you see the slimy uh pretty boy with with, with the long hair? Grimy, this is Zeke cousin. Tell y'all cold he is. He played um, pain, man. You know, I miss you. The line of communication ain't open. What happened? You know he worked for Bolo. He super grimy, right? So, you know, Murder Payne ain't thinking nothing about it. So they had to wake the after party for the funeral. Just in case y'all don't know, people didn't really rock with Pops like that because Pops touched on some of the kids when they was younger, but Payne loved them, went out the way to get the um, uh, the money to pay for his funeral, so on and so forth. Now, at the, at the, at the wake, he talking to Payne, then he walk away. Dudes come through shooting. They don't hit nobody, but they hit Danielle. They hit Danielle, which is Tim's girlfriend. Luckily, she survived or whatnot, but... This how cold the game is. He played like, oh, I don't know nothing about it at all. Grimy snake. Back door. I ain't tripping about it. Now we done got to the place, nigga, we ain't kicking it. Ain't no talking. No line of communication. That's a hustling ass nigga. Don't forget he know all your customs. Yeah, they finally got D up out the picture. He was doing too much. He was like that, but he wasn't really like that. Another grimy slime ball. Wasn't moving right, but they caught him slipping, got him up out of there. ASAP. Alright, better up. Let's do it. Murder, what the fuck? For Bolo at. Come on, man. Out. So you know the homie Jock. That's uh murder right hand. They've been getting into it lately. They've been getting way into it lately. Jock been simping as usual, giving chicks money for manicures and petties. He was laying up with, I think it was Vic Girl. He laying up with her, right? He like, man, um, why don't you tell everybody you want to be with me? Whatever, I'll make it be known, so on and so forth. She like, man, he ain't going to let me go. Whoop, whoop, man, I don't go. So anyway, she don't tell him. She go back to her mans. Her mans be buying the work for murder. She, he be buying half the load, you know what I'm saying? He a big part of the reason to work getting off. And he are, and, and Murder already told him, stop messing with her. So anyway, he sees her in the club. He drunk, or at least he say he was. You know how we blame it on drinking or whatever. He see the old girl in the club with doggy who was buying the bricks from Murder. He goes over there like, hey, uh, I thought you was going to leave him. What the fuck you in here doing, grabbing her? She like, man, what is you doing? I right, get in, you know, walk off, storm off, they gone here. Now, dog feeling some type of way about it. Murder pissed off, you feel me? So they have a meeting to try to squash it, right? So they meet up at a spot. Squash it, hey, man, it's business, so on and so forth. Whoop, whoop. You know, Jock got his face all screwed up, ain't really feeling what he's saying. So as soon as doggy leave about the door, them hitters come up in that thing. And they get to sparking, but luckily, murder them up stick. Got up out that situation. Jumped on out the window. Did they thing, you feel me? So now look, fast forward, which I'm gonna show you in the clip down the line. They get doggy, they get doggy back by having an old girl pull up on him, like, hey, can you throw me some work? Whoop, whoop, she looking good, thank you. He like, oh yeah, baby, I never leave you like them, you know, I get to work, so on and so forth. So he pull, boop, drop her off. She hop in her car. She, he don't know murder in the back seat, he come up out that thing. That boy out of there. Oh yeah, and they caught D slipping. I'm finally I'm glad they finally caught D slipping. He was doing too much, but he wasn't really like that. But he played that role. Phenomenal, man. Shout out to him. You feel me? Some of y'all really got me believing like y'all this in real life and I wanna say something to you. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Another thing Jock was mad at uh murder about. Jock ended up getting picked up, right? For the murder of the cop at the store. That Leo did. Leo threw him under the bus because Leo wasn't trying to go down that way. Leo going, trying to go out. He trying to stay out any type of way he want. So he throw Jock under the bus instead of, instead of saying murder. So they get it. You know, they come arrest him. But it was illegal. So in the middle of cautioning, they let him out there. Jock seemed like he was going to stay solid, but we don't know what he did under more pressure. You feel me? For something that he didn't do, he might have got to talking. 
since I know little niggas don't be doing shit like this, pamper day on me. Go get your little manny and a patty. Where are you going after this? Shit, home. <laughs> shit. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Dog, what's the deal? Put your motherfucking hands on me, nigga. Are you serious? You the one said you ain't want this whole ass nigga. Come on, man. Money on the floor. Fill up. So what we gotta do? Put this bullshit behind us and continue to get money. I mean, that's my woman. And we've been together for years now. For a bitch like always. You stay fucking our situation up of old. Oh, I'm fucking our shit up just because I'm dealing with a lame ass nigga bitch that's dealing with his feelings and you ain't fucking our shit up and you dealing with niggas that's dealing with the people. The fuck is To work quick and get a war on this guy, Jock. Who is he? Murder's right hand man. Now, this is his last known address. Pick it up. Somebody gotta take the rap, but it don't gotta be you, Jock. Where's murder? So Leo kicking it with somebody like, I think it was uh, it was D he was kicking it with, right? He like, I know where murder spot at, or vice versa, they know where murder spot at. They was like, we might as well take his work too. We're going to take his life. We might as well completely get him up out of here. So they comes up in the spot, but young dog in there, shoot it off. He go tell murder like, Leo was behind and I seen his face. So what they do is go get one of uh, Leo's custos. Hey, bro, you got the same work. Whoop, come through. You know he hungry for you. Like, bring a boy. He hungry. He won't go get that money. He chasing it by any means. He pop up in that thing. Guess who there? Murdering them hitters. Got him. Smoked him. Before, before he died. But, but, man, you ain't got to do this. Zeke did it, this and that. So he let murder know everything right there before they got him up out of there. Now, Leo's sister up there trying to pin. Well, he had problems with him. Murder had problems with him. Murder had problems with y'all. Don't know what y'all doing, so on and so forth. So she trying to get him up out of there too. More drama just brewing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, not over no bitch, dog. I don't even. You Zeke the one put all this shit together. Put what together? The hit on your spot, bro. See, cuz, you have to go through the alley. Remember that plug I was telling you about that Shanika hooked up Leo and um, Murder with? Crazy dude, talking about, I give you one phone call, on what, second phone call, the third phone call you did, like, he out his mind. You could tell, I wouldn't even did business with him. He, he looked so weird and crazy in that joint, man. He played that role really, really well. But uh, anyway, so what Mo do is he go get Brett, break him off. He like, I need you to protect the bag. Brett like, who? Murder pain. Oh man, he got problems with too many people. So man, do your thing and protect Brett. I mean, uh, protect murder pain. You know what I'm saying? So now he in a deal with the devil and dog got some good product too, bro. Up there, Brett up there sniffing it all up. Now he about to put, now he about to put the plays down. You do know what I'm talking about? But what the crazy twist is about him, which you're gonna see later in the video, this how grimy Mo is. Mo was, Mo was supposed to rock with murder. Murder was bringing the cash back, right? So it come down to a situation where it's like, Luger, get out of jail. You'll see Luger, payroll. You're gonna see it down I'm, I'm filling you in so the video can go ahead and go, go through some. So anyway, Luger, get out of jail, right? He think murder killed this man. Murder say I ain't kill him, so on and so forth. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, so Bolo don't like Luger. Don't like him. So for the work, murder was supposed to kill um, uh, Luger, get him up out the way, and Bolo was off of him, right? But Mo said. Soon as he kill him for uh, Bolo, Bolo gonna whack murder still. So he was like, you know what? Find a dude he's selling the bricks to so we can take his, you know, his outlet and then get murder out the way. And murder never, ever, ever betrayed Mo. 
the one thing he ever did was confront Mo about working with the police when he found out. Mo like, look, I'm the one got you out of that situation, this situation, that situation. When the police works for us, what's wrong with it? So anyway, Murder ended up having a conversation with the guys, man, jocking them like, man, he working with the police. Jock like, you ain't going back there. They homie like, man, look, when you in the game like this and you this deep and all this going on, you got to work with the police. And that's what I love about the story because that's the absolute truth. How you think that drug dealer in your hood been settled for 30 years and he got 10, 12 dope cases, get caught with a quarter break and go to the county jail for a, a year, a nine months? Uh, you, you feel me? Work release. Easy. Easy, man. Now, Tim Cuz, right? Tim, uh, excuse me. Yeah, Tim Cuz. Still got a problem with murder. Remember, Tim married to his old girl, getting married or whatever, right? He still feels some type of way about murder pain. He want to get him out there. So they out there having a conversation one time. And his cousin over here, they look, walk away. It's over. She's like, what is he talking about? So anyway, he ended up getting shot at. Now he think Tim told his wife or Tim wife told murder or Tim told murder. Now it's my racing. Oh yeah, don't forget, don't forget that murder don't know Tim shot at him at the store when all that stuff was going on in the beginning when him and his sister was, I mean, uh, him and his girl was having all that drama and murder came through and checked that, you heard. <laughs> Chubbs, Chubbs, baby, you see your cousin over here getting married. You next? So when you was gonna tell me about it, cut? We passed that, man. How, Tim? So dog know you shot him at the store? Your little wife that started all this bullshit, do she know? Them niggas try that shit again, we on their ass again, just like the first time we shot murder bitch ass, nigga. Lil' Von, Zeke, murder backstabbed all of them. Where the fuck you been? So Bolo end up getting a hold, this chick got kidnapped. Bolo end up getting a hold of the chick, right? The chick had connections to Tone and his men. Tone, the, the young dudes, they was trying to get, get some work off. So he like got some people, so on and so forth. So anyway, they they smoked the dude who brought the girl to him because he messed up. They don't know why he lived after a certain situation, whatever the case may be. So anyway, they duct tape her, bring her down there, kill dog in front of her. Zeke did it. So now she out of she don't know what to do. So she called dog up like, whoop, whoop, tell him to bring the work through. So on and so forth. So now nah, they about to make the play. So on the way there, Tom get pulled over by the police, get caught with the work. Guess who pop up? Alex. Alex pops up, put the pressure on him like, man, we just want murder. Or you could go to jail, so on and so forth. He puts on the wire. None of this is legal, though. None of this is legal. So they head over to the spot. They meet up. Tone like, uh, man, such and such, woo, woo, had murder pull up with the word. Dog like, you want some bull, but hey, look, they want it. So they want to get in contact with murder. So as, um, you know, murder heading that way or whatever the case or whatever was going on, Bolo people and them come up in there because old girl was the setup. So it ended up being a shootout. Now somebody get killed with the wire on. Tone get killed with the wire on. Now it's getting deep. Now, Hey, we we gonna see what happened to Alex. You feel me? We gonna see what happened to him. But that was a robbery. You went wrong. They know who did it. They seen who did it. But the police couldn't hop out the car because they was not supposed to be there illegally. Now they got a partner. It looked like he about to break because he don't want to do things the dirty way. He a young cop, new to the job. He ain't, Alex obsessed, man. Like I said, he ain't got no life. Tom, he ready. All right, perfect. How y'all trying to do it? More than just names. I need you to give me murder. Look, you do this, everything goes away. Now, you sure murder gonna be there? Yeah. Appreciate you. All right. That's why I'm just having pull up here and grab it. You might as well have murder pull up with it.
can't go in there. What the hell? They found police audio wires on a victim of a double homicide. Joseph Mopkins, AKA Yak, over on Proctor McGraw. Not only does this put us over. I gotta go. You just make sure your husband don't. When Luger touched down, his conversation basically with um, Martyr, like anybody try me, they out of there. If anybody, they out of there. Anybody mess with my money, I, I'm out, they out of there. He on all BS. He asked Murder, did he do that to his dog, Vic? Murder say, nah, man, we just had some words. You wanted me to roll, whoop, whoop, such and such. Um, ain't nothing going on. But then you got D-Lo gossiping later on that payroll. Now you got him gossiping, talking about stuff that he don't even know about. Now he opened up a whole new can of worms. Luger ain't even doing no research, no none of that. He just going off. It's about to be a crazy one. But I'm going to tell y'all what I think. I think Murder Payne gonna end up start thinking instead of using that gun he gonna end up probably getting him and bolo to take each other out or bolo gonna find out murder pain ain't had nothing to do with his niece you dig what i'm talking about he gonna find that out and they might team up that'd be a hell of a combination him jock bolo i know nah, i don't think i nah, i wouldn't go and be in this bubble i don't care how good it is yeah that he a little off I don't silly motherfucker right way hey this is my man d-lo d-lo murder what i'm doing you all right he has his main partner, Brett. So if he knows his partner is crooked, why not turn him in? That's a big. I kept my word. Not like the mother niggas do you. <laughs> yeah, you did. I appreciate you. So what went wrong? Me and my dog, Eastside Rick, had him. Them niggas jumped out the window. The window? I will get that nigga. Yeah. I know you're gonna get that whole ass nigga. And you gotta know about me, Mo. Cause I don't give a fuck about no money. What I stand for is what I stand on. I ain't got shit to talk about with no cops. Somebody I'm doing business with don't got none either. Unless they work for us. So I know you ain't going back to fuck with that nigga Mo. I'm gonna tell y'all niggas like this. You told me everything the nigga said, right? Right. That nigga Mo ain't no fool, man. He know he gotta keep them people in his back pocket. He done got y'all niggas out of all this bullshit. Don't you think that shit cost? Who you think he paid? That nigga ain't get me out of shit. I wasn't gonna tell on this nigga murder. And knock that shit off, hey, you Blue. you missing a point. To be heavy as this nigga Mo, you gotta fuck with them people. You. You not gonna never catch murder, as long as you got a dirty cop protecting you. In the season ending, you know what my favorite part was? Detective, officer, lieutenant, whatever he is, he got suspended without pay. <laughs> I've been waiting on that a long time. He doing too much. He doing too much. He talking about work after the job. Man, leave that there with your 8, 10, 12, 16-hour shift. You going home, pillow talking to your wife about stuff. You feel me? And then your wife talking to Shanika and end up telling you some stuff. And then you end up going back, repeating it, having them pop up at her house and ruining their relationship. Hey, oh, 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 oh. And just in case y'all y'all miss certain parts, you know Murder's sister don't know that his name is murder in the streets. She don't know nothing about what he's doing. Murder ain't got no criminal record or nothing like that. She ain't in the streets. But they finally putting two and two together. Murder is her brother. And her husband is the cop Alex trying to kill him. Ready for tomorrow? Hell uh, yeah. Hey, so I've been meaning to ask you something. You and my band Vic had some words or something before he got killed? Nah, I want nothing like that. Nigga was trying to get me to work for him. I was already moving, so I told him I was smooth. A nigga playing with my money? I'm knocking him off. When I find that nigga who killed my nigga Vic, I'm knocking him the fuck off. Bolo? I'm on 
all bullshit this go around. Pop, Luger's in jail. He was. He got out? And Bolo want him dead. He won't murder to do it. But I know Bolo. He won't kill murder as soon as the job is done. I got an idea. We need to figure out who murder's selling these bricks to. That way your ass can have a job long after murder is gone. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. You know Shanika end up getting a drop on Z. He came up, popped that boy, had him on the ground, flipped him over, hit him up. He deserved to go out that way. How your own cousin gonna get, get your wake shot? He Making no sense. As long as you bring us that payback, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I hear you, bro. Remember, they hit the crib up with jocking, and remember that they hit the crib up with jocking. And they, I'm talking about, it was like 10 dudes out there with all types of stuff. Me and reload pop up. That's when jock get hit, but you already know he gonna pull through that thing. You see, you, it's, it's obvious. You did, I'm talking. <laughs> Fuck is he? Supposed to be murder man. Guessing they fell out. I am fucking with Rick. Man, ain't no telling what fuck shit murder and did for that man to fall out. I was just about to do business with that nigga too. Glad you told me what that nigga Rick said before I did. Oh, he for sure said he the ones killed your man's Vic. And I just had a conversation with that nigga about that shit. They gonna tell me they had light words on the block or some shit. The fuck you gonna lie to me for? You know why he lied to you. Sell me the bricks. Yeah, I thought that. Come to find out, that bag Bolo got on you. Murder the one supposed to take that hit. As far as what I'm looking forward to in this season, I want Bolo to get some shots sent at him. Like this, he he reading uh, 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 military books and Bibles while he killing people. He, he's sending everybody else. He ain't putting in the work like that. I mean, he doing this thing, but he he ain't out there in the field. You know, out and oh, he got guys in basements tied up, all this type of stuff. I want to see that. I want to see how Luger about to play um, murder. Or maybe Murder might play Luger. Like I said, he might get them two to beef and he might hook up with Luger. I wouldn't do it. Or he might get well with Vic. And Vic might believe him and embrace him. And it's all good. I'm so looking forward to this, man. Shout out to all the wonderful actors that's in this stuff. Like I said, Alex to play the cop. He really played that so believable, man. Crazy. Brett, he really looked... In that movie, I'm not saying you really look like a fiend, but in that movie, you, all the mannerisms, you look like a dirty cop strung out on drugs. You know, Mo look crazy as usual. He got a new movie out, man, and a whole different character. I didn't even know he had that much range, man. You know Murder Pain, what he brings to the game. He can be a dope dealer, a lover boy. Somebody got his uh, buff snatch. Go go check out that, too. That's one of the funny, underrated funniest movies ever, bro. That's Friday. That's the original Friday, not the, the corny, watered-down other Fridays they drop. None of that. This is the original Friday right here. Maybe they might need to do a buffed-up, too, or something like that. I don't know, man, but shout out to all the Fast Life boys, man. Peace and blessings be upon y'all, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. I just wanted to break that down, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Big five.